Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, Five of Pentacles reversed, Three of Staffs reversed, and the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Fool, Ten of Swords reversed, and Temperance reversed. The Fool is reversed. This entire reading is reversed. Okay. So what's going on, Aquarius Singles? Let's look at this and break it down. I actually do, I do like some of these cards in reverse better than I do when they're upright. So especially like the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords reversed, okay? So it's time to let go. It's time to let go of a relationship that has already happened. Some of you probably broke up in February and it was pretty tumultuous or in the last three months, Aquarius, and it's been really hard on you. Really hard. But it's time to move on. It's time to move on and have faith that re relationship is for you. Ace of Swords in reverse is that an air sign really wants to come say hello to you, a fellow air sign, another Aquarius, another Leap or a Libra or a uh, a Gemini, but they can't come in because of the forlorn and the sadness that you are holding on to from this past relationship and this idea that you no longer uh, deserve to have relationship. And, and so you're kind of in like a stilted place right now, Aquarius, of like, I don't want anyone. I don't want to have a relationship. I don't want to date. I don't want to do anything. And so it's like you're kind of in a drought, you know? You feel like you're in a drought and that there's no reason to plan anything or to build anything because it's just you're meant to be alone. You're going to be alone. You're going to be lonely for the rest of your life. And as I always love to say is that's a bunch of malarkey, right, Aquarius? A bunch of malarkey because you deserve all of that. But the only way it's going to come in is if you take away that shield and that that barrier and that, that uh, you know, um, barricade that you have built and that's why you can't see anything because you're deflecting any of the joy and the happiness that wants to come in so i don't see this necessarily as a month where you're going to meet somebody new and it's going to be a connection and it's going to be love at first sight or it's going to be you know yes i want to be with this person forever because i think even if that person came in right now you wouldn't recognize them you wouldn't see them for their true beauty because you're seeing everything through instead of rose colored glasses you're seeing it through black colored glasses through fog through a haze through through a misery that was the past and First and foremost, even though it's not the first thing I've said, but, um, yes, it's okay. I understand, Aquarius. I understand the, the, the heartache. I understand feeling like you were left by somebody, left out in the cold, that, that you're still healing. And that is okay. That is okay. But by golly, don't, do not let go of the idea and the people who do love you and who are there and who are waiting for you. Because there is a partner, there is a union that is waiting for you. But you, they won't come in until you're ready. All right? And by being ready, it's just by being accepting of your surroundings, of you, of people in general. And saying, yes, I am here and I'm standing on my foundation. I am standing strong and I am standing with an open heart. And that shows that you are ready and that they can come in. And if that doesn't happen, then you do not get to accept them into your life the way that they, they need to be and the way that you need them to be. All right. So let's call on the Universal Love Deck just for some added guidance. We're going to pull two cards from here. Reflection. That's coming up a lot this month. Balance yourself. Find balance within. And also help others Help yourself by balancing with others too, okay? So you don't always have to match people around you. You can take tidbits from them and feed your soul with just that so that you stay in balance and help help staying in balance with others too. Uh, reflection, obviously. Reflect on yourself. Reflect on where your life is. Uh, reflect on what you want, and where you want to go so that you can hold that dear to you and and take it with into all the steps of the future 
All right. Yeah. So really work on balancing yourself, work on balancing who you are, who, who you are in relationship to and making sure not to lose yourself in relationship. Ten of Pentacles is, is so that in reverse. It's so getting lost in somebody else and losing yourself thinking that that's what's going to make you happy. And you're just getting out of that place. You're just getting out of that place of, of losing yourself in relationship. And so now you're regaining your strength and your virility in your own life so that you can start to give it back in relationships. So take this month to really reflect, to balance yourself so that you can bring in the positive relationships that are waiting. Okay, so let's move on to couples. Okay, couples. Hello, couple Aquarius. So this is for people in established relationships in a solid union. Okay, so let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy for our couples, for our Aquarius sun, rising, moon couples. What energy do we need to know for our Aquarius couples? What is going on with their relationship? What is going on with them when it comes to union? All right, so the devil reversed. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. The Hierophant reversed. Holy moly. Two of Pentacles reversed. The world and judgment reversed. Okay, you're not alone with all these reversals. All the single, um, single Aquarius got all reversals too, I believe. <sighs> you're in a very similar boat to my singles, okay? Because the devil popping up in reverse is uh, finally being sick of addiction, being sick of what's going on, of the run of the mill of what has been going on. You're just, it's not, it's not healthy for you. All right. And then having here the queen of pentacles reverse and the page of pentacles reverse makes me think that a lot of couples have children right now. And if you don't have a child, then somebody's acting like one for sure. Uh, the queen of pentacles in reverse is, um, you know, Aquarius, you must have those who are dating or uh, either dating or married to uh, an earth sign. So that's a Virgo Capricorn. Um, who am I missing? Taurus. Man, they're in a bad spot. They're in a bad way right now. And even if you aren't dating an earth sign, then your your couple is in a bad way when it comes to finances or it comes to their home or, you know, the earthly realm, they're in a bad way right now. Okay. They're just not, not saying that they're bad people, but there's some situations when it comes to your, their, um, their finances, their home that is really causing stress and anxiety to them. And, and so therefore it's affecting you and it's almost becoming an obsession. And the worry here, the worry here is that, uh, you know, it's like you're watching this happen, and I don't necessarily think that you are the cause of it or that it is your fault that this is happening. I think maybe your partner made some really bad choices, and now everything is finally crumbling, crumbling. Like they made some bad investments or they, you know, didn't get to work on time, and now they're, they're suffering and they're losing their job, and it's affecting you and your family and the children. And so the... The page of pentacles popping up here, especially with couples, is childlike energy, is a child. So, uh, you know, the child feels what's going on in this relationship. The child feels the stress and the pull and the anxiety that you both are exhibiting. Even if you're saying, no, everything is all right, honey, they know what's going on. And so they're feeling restless and unsure. And so they're going to be acting out. I mean, I bet like a lot of um, my Aquarius... Uh, children, the children, are um, breaking things, are just, you know, dropping things on the floor or throwing things or like trying to, you know, draw on the walls type things because um, they're feeling unstable and they're feeling really insecure, especially because they feel like literally their world is crumbling. They feel like everything is is going topsy-turvy. And it's because, you know, right now the Queen of Pentacles in reverse has to, you know, pay the piper and there's nothing there. There's nothing that they, they have to give. They're strapped. And so this is like debt is coming in and it is tax times and tax season in the States. So it could definitely be that, you know, it's like, oh gosh, <laughs> this is horrible, but I'm going to say it anyways and understand that I'm not meaning it literally, 
but it's like the hero font in reverse the feeling is not saying that it is this is not even god can save you okay not even god can save you right now but that's not the truth that's the feeling of it it's like oh gosh you're swimming in anxiety the truth is yes all can be saved all can rise up it's just going to take a lot of work for you right now as a couple, okay? Because with the two of pentacles reversed, it's like totally out of whack. It's totally, um, you know, just topsy-turvy. Like I said, the devil in reverse is like, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this, this situation. This is not healthy. We're not thriving, all right? And it's, um, you know, having judgment in the world and the Hierophant and the devil, all major arcana here. Is like this was a destined situation, okay? That in this relationship, this had to happen to either break it off so that you can start anew or so that you guys can really solve it and begin and begin together. And I feel like that the latter is going to be true for most of you, seeing as I don't see any ace of aces showing up, like you need to begin something new, is that you actually need to stick it out together, work it out, and make it better. Okay, and March is the beginning of this. March is the beginning of this happening, of recognizing the issues within the relationship. And it has to do with financial. It has to do with your home. It has to do with paperwork and, and all of that stuff we don't want to deal with. Uh, and, and facing each other and saying, this has got to stop. This has got to change. And working together to change it, especially for the sake of this page of pentacles, who's going to, who's spiral, spiraling out right now. Okay, so let's pull a couple universal love cards. Abundance. I, oh, thank you. Thank you. It's like, I am so happy. Aquarius, that's what you got. And tantric union. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and the reason why I'm, oh, and you know what, I flipped this, I flipped my deck the wrong way, I always do it um, facing down, so I don't see the other cards, but I just flipped it naturally this way, so I'm gonna, I actually want to give you this card to Aquarius Couples, which is Universal Heart, all right, and the, the reason why I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you, is this is your hope, this is your destiny, this is where you're going to, is abundance, tantric union, universal heart. And like I said earlier, for a majority of you, it's going to be time to stick out this rough patch. And a way to do that is to connect physically, know each other physically, because there's going to be this energy of, I don't want you anywhere near me. I don't want to look at you. I'm disgusted at what has happened. And this is like saying there is still... A connection that needs to be made and that even though right now you may be feeling out topsy-turvy like everything is shifting changing that you don't have enough the fact is you do you absolutely do and like I said earlier too you may feel like not even God can help you now that is so not true universal heart the universe is on your side and wants to to help you out but the only way that universe can help you out and can help you towards that abundance is by reaching out is by reaching for connection with your partner and saying instead of I am sick of this I am tired of what's going on saying saying I want to fix this with you. I want to connect with you and let's walk this path from darkness to the light together. Okay? So that is where you have to make that decision, that very clear decision. And it's going to be tough, Aquarius. It really is. It's going to be tough to say, yes, I want to be with you. Yes, I want to work on this because you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be mad. You're going to be like just so irritated. But through that irritation, you have to look into the eyes of your partner and see the beauty and the love that you have always had between each other and make it through all of this, which you can. Absolutely. 